Now, with kettlebells, we have a preponderance of vertical movement. Almost all the movements you're familiar with, whether it's the clean or the press or the jerk or the snatch, these are all vertical. So we have a lot of that in kettlebells, but we have almost no horizontal movements. So now with this program, I'm showing you how to balance out the vertical with the horizontal. When you start neglecting areas, you develop what are called compensations, which mean areas that are underdeveloped are compensated or the stronger areas will make up for the weak areas. And these develop imbalances in your body. And again, it will lead to injury and, and poor performance. So with this pull program, I'm going to teach you these seven movement patterns and how to address all of them using kettlebells. We're going to isolate each component into individual workouts. For example, we have the push-pull workout for vertical. We have the push-pull workout for horizontal. We have a hip-dominant workout. We have a knee-dominant workout. And we have a core stability and dynamic mobility workout. In addition to that, I also show you how to put these seven components together into one program. So you can work the individual components on different days or you can work all components during one workout.